So what are the differences between laparoscopic and open surgery? Now I've divided this into three uh, factors. You have the patient factors, you have the surgeon factors and you have the hospital factors. Now if you look at the patient factors, uh, it's an advantage because the patient will result in having smaller incisions which lead to less pain, obviously earlier healing with less chances of uh, hernia because the breaches in the fascia are much smaller. So they are prone to, I'm not, I wouldn't say prone, they are more capable of doing more strenuous activity post-surgery. Generally, laparoscopy results in lesser handling of peritoneal content. So this naturally leads to uh, lesser paralytic ileus in the post-operative period and this is also uh, helped out by giving early recovery and feeding. So definitely for the patient, there are good advantages as regards laparoscopy over open surgery. Now between, for the surgeon, he definitely has a very much better magnified view and your chances of injury of something that could happen in open surgery is a little less. Unfortunately, because we are using instruments for everything and not using our hands, we are having an altered tactile response. Now, naturally, over a period of time, you do have like a sixth sense about how tissues feel, whether it feels hard or firm or soft, but it's something that comes with experience and not all the time. And definitely, uh, if you look at robotic surgery, the tactile response is even lesser as compared to laparoscopy. The next big disadvantage that laparoscopy that has is a 2D vision. Everything's on a screen. You do not uh, gauge, you cannot really gauge the depth of tissue. So you might have problems during the surgery. Now again, over a period of time with experience, this 2D vision becomes, uh, you know, a second uh, thought for us. You really don't have to be too worried about the 2D vision. You get used to it. If you are a new person switching from open to laparoscopy or deciding to have both kinds of skills, then it involves a new set of skills and which is why I can't tell you enough that good laparoscopic training programs are there all over the country and you can go to these centers because they have good setups for you to learn the basic set of procedures and you learn by yourself experience wise you move on to larger surgeries. So new set of skills and generally what happens is because you have the fact that you are going to be doing this under general anesthesia, in sufflation, with its, uh, you know, you sometimes have to let out the gas and then clean the camera. All this leads to a longer operating time and you tend to be a little more careful um, when you are doing laparoscopic surgery. So usually longer operating time, which is a disadvantage. On the institutional side, the initial setup is always expensive because a good top end laparoscopic system can be anywhere between 20 to 25 lakhs. Now, if you're looking at something like a 4K system, then we're looking over something like 65 lakhs, which is quite expensive. So, a lot of places actually buy what is known as a full HD system, which is usually around 25 to 27 lakhs. But on the other hand, the overall long-term reduced cost due to shorter hospital stay um, it becomes a benefit to the institution, so you have greater turnover of patients.